we really feel like Freedom Schools has something for everybody, um, and we call that the magic of Freedom Schools in Charlotte. It's magic for scholars, it's magic for interns, it's magic for volunteers. Those volunteers become uh, stronger advocates for children, stronger advocates for education, and that strengthens a community. But we're touching maybe one fiftieth of the children that need it. Uh, summer learning loss is such a critical need, the biggest reason for the achievement gap. And in Charlotte Mecklenburg, we haven't given up on public education. Many people um, are committed to it in our community and they, they get it that summer learning is a critical piece of making it work. And so there are lots of partners who are eager to be supportive. Given the reality of summer learning loss for children, uh, our researchers in the Center for Adolescent Literacy had suggested that if we just hold our own, kids are, are gaining because they're not losing. And so in that first project, um, they said, our goal is to find that kids are holding their own. Dr. Taylor called me and he said, Mary Nell, we were wrong. Kids are not holding their, their own, they are gaining by leaps and bounds in Freedom School. That was the pilot project, we were thrilled, and we said, okay, we have to repeat this research and find out. So the second year, a solid 20% random sample across all of the sites, all 10 sites that we had last summer. And we found, again, that 60% of the children were increasing, 65%, 65% of the children were increasing in their reading levels, many a year or more, and 30% of the children were maintaining in their reading. And so we're beating the odds 90% of the time for summer learning loss for our kids. We've had principals tell us that they can tell which children have been to Freedom School by the way they walk down the hall, by the way they talk to each other. And sometimes we get overwhelmed because there's so many children to serve and we're serving so few of them. But there's a ripple effect with Freedom School. There's a tipping point in a school that Freedom Schools can make possible. If you've got a child who is a rascal because he or she hasn't learned to read well, but is a leader in their classroom, and they're transformed into an excited learner and a good reader as a result of Freedom School, then they're a leader in their classroom in a whole different way. And we didn't have to serve every child in that classroom to make a big difference for that teacher the next year. So even if we can't reach them all, I think we're making a big difference in schools by being in schools. There are many, many people on the Freedom School train in Charlotte, and I think it's building community in strong ways. If Freedom Schools can be the one additional piece of the puzzle that a family needs, that a community needs to help build the structure for children to grow into all that God created them to be, that's a piece of it that Freedom Schools can do and does very, very well.